Hi everyone, today will be pregnancy update and today will be a video mainly for the girls who are planning to have a baby or <laughs> uh, for the girls who are already pregnant. So guys, if you're watching, you better switch it off <laughs> because there's gonna be a lot of sensitive stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna do it very short, but I will let you know what was happening during the past uh, a uh, few weeks and also what is happening right now but uh, I have to run to my doctor so it will be a very short video <laughs> I'll try to be uh, very quick so first of all what I wanted to tell that uh, I have incredible swelling and uh, I thought that uh, it will never touch me but unfortunately it did and I'm just uh, really struggling with that and uh, I never thought that swelling can be so bad because uh, it gives me a lot of pain and even uh, those uh, creams which have some kind of painkillers they don't help me and yesterday I went to bed uh, it was approximately 11 or 12 o'clock and uh, I was dying from pain and I couldn't walk but yes, of course, I was cooking a lot yesterday. Maybe I spent three hours uh, on my feet, but it was not like three hours in a row. So it was like one hour in the morning, then two hours uh, in the afternoon and approximately half an hour or one hour in the evening. So, you know, they say that you have to give your feet some rest and I did, but still <laughs> at night I was dying from pain my heart burns reduced a little bit just because i'm taking pills every single day and uh, the pill is called uh, omeprazole 20 milligrams but it really helped before i even couldn't sleep at all at all zero <laughs> zero sleep so yes at least it gives me opportunity to sleep for uh, six seven hours uh, usually i sleep six hours and then i wake up because i'm hungry and uh, my girl is very active <laughs> in my belly and um, she is waking me up because she's hungry as some people explain to me and i realized that really it works like that so i wake up at six or seven o'clock i eat then i wait until my heart burns go down and then i sleep again I cannot take more than one pill a day, so I have to wait until heart burns go down and uh, then I can sleep. Now I sleep during the day two, three hours. Yeah, it's pretty strange, but before pregnancy, I was sleeping only seven, eight hours and I couldn't sleep more. I couldn't sleep nine hours and if I slept for uh, nine hours so then I just uh, have headaches so that's why you know I was controlling it like I had alarm all the time uh, it's just a go to bed uh, my alarm would be in seven or eight hours but with pregnancy I sleep 10 11 hours smells I cannot tolerate some smells some perfumes but uh, you know with perfumes it's a completely different story but uh, you know smells like the smell of bell pepper red bell pepper i used to love red bell pepper but now i cannot stand the smell and also uh, it relates uh, to uh, beef chicken i'm okay but beef and salmon oh my god sometimes i feel like they smell so bad and i cannot eat it and sometimes i'm forcing myself because my baby girl needs some proteins but uh, for me i'm just like oh my god i cannot stand this uh, smell yes during the pregnancy i can uh, smell people in a distance and it's not the best uh, situation i love when people take shower and it's summer right now <laughs> and uh, uh, it is something like plus 33 today and uh, i hate to feel uh, this smell of sweat even it relates to me when i feel that i'm sweating i cannot stand it i just go and take shower and uh, for me it's like number one what i'm just you know uh, do in the morning in the afternoon and in the evening And you know, the other day when we went uh, to buy me uh, a present from Louis Vuitton and uh, they gave us uh, some perfumes and uh, I liked that perfume. 
they gave us uh, lots of samples and uh, <laughs> the other day when we went out and I said to Max, why do you smell so bad? I was like, are you normal? <laughs> because the other day you were telling me that uh, you like this perfume but now you're telling me that uh, this perfume is disgusting. I was like, I'm sorry but I'm pregnant. <laughs> Yes, uh, hormones, they do crazy stuff with your head. Back pain. So I started to experience very bad back pain again. I had it when I had first trimester, but now I'm on my third trimester. I'm 37 weeks pregnant and I had incredible and horrible back pain. So I went to the clinic that they would fix my back. So they did massage and uh, today I had a photo shoot with a uh, photographer. And that's why I look pinkish. So she told me, go to chiropractor and he will fix you. I was like, are you sure? Because I didn't know that uh, pregnant women can go to chiropractors. And uh, she said, yes, the chiropractor who is smart, he will know how to fix you. So I was like, okay, I'll go back again to the same clinic where I was two days ago. And uh, also, I wanted to bring the topic that uh, uh, I have some skin issues. Like I have a pimple here. I had pimple and my skin is not recovering that fast. And I was really shocked yesterday. Girls, why I'm reacting like that? Just because before pregnancy, your health it's just like in completely cool, excellent condition. But during the pregnancy, everything goes down <laughs> and your skin also reacts somehow strange. And yesterday I saw that I have this red dot and I'm like, what is that? Why it's not disappearing? So now it looks like scar or something like that. It really scares me because before pregnancy, I never had it like that. So also, uh, I have sometimes rash uh, on my skin, but it's not from dairy. Before pregnancy, I was uh, allergic to dairy and I couldn't eat uh, or drink cow's milk. I couldn't eat cottage cheese or if I eat a pie and there will be like teeny tiny uh, cheese, piece of cheese, I would have allergy on my skin. So I would have either pimples or some kind of rash. So I couldn't eat dairy at all. So I was dairy intolerant. And during pregnancy, I don't have this thing at all. You know, I just, I was wondering, maybe just because my baby girl is taking so much calcium from my body, so when I'm consuming any dairy products, she is consuming all that calcium and it doesn't affect my body. So I was pretty surprised about that. What I noticed also, that uh, my doctor prescribed me to take vitamin D, uh, 1000 ICU, or 1000 something, ultrasound. As I mentioned before, in the USA it works uh, different from Ukraine. So here when you go to the ultrasound, they don't tell you what is happening to you or to your baby. They let you look at the screen and that's it. Uh, they don't tell you anything. And when I went for the ultrasound uh, approximately one month ago and they told me that uh, my girl is a little bit small, she was one kg and 700 grams and this time I was like so curious. I was like, can you please tell me how much she weighs? And uh, there was uh, one nice gentleman and he was like, Wait, I'll tell you. So he told me that my baby girl is uh, two kilograms and 900 grams. So I was like, oh yeah, finally. But of course, yes, I know just that. During the past two weeks, I started to gain weight like crazy, literally like crazy. And for me now, it's hard to get up from bed, from, from the chair because so much weight here. And uh, I was, some kind of happy that my baby girl put on weight, but yes, it's a bit hard for me to move. So Max is helping me all the time to get up. <laughs> but at some point you feel yourself like handicapped and uh, you know, the other day I was crying just because I felt so helpless and Max was laughing at me and he was like, come on, I'll help you. But I was like, no, I like to do everything by myself. I want to be able to get up from check by myself, not with your help. But he was like, come on, I'm there for you. So I was not ready mentally for that. 
we bought lots of stuff for our baby girl last week but uh, I was recording it's just the parcels we arrived into our house so you will see all those videos uh, later so I watched lots of videos on YouTube and the girls they were saying don't buy this brand buy this brand don't buy this brand buy this brand so I was like okay so I'll be following their advice it's just because uh, I'm a foreigner in the USA and uh, I didn't have babies in the past so I don't know what to buy and I don't know what I will need and I'm just buying stuff but uh, who knows will I use them or not but still I just want to be prepared because I'm a controlling freak <laughs> I will be more panicking if I don't have enough stuff or something what is necessary for the baby so I know myself I will be panicking despite we have Amazon Prime and we can order anything anytime and it will be delivered next day but still, I want to be in control. Purchases for the baby girl. <laughs> this is the bag for diapers. And this is uh, the paste or cream um, in order the baby would not have a rush. We'll see how it's gonna work. But everybody recommended uh, this one. Look how they packed it. <laughs> it's so cool. We'll see right now this mess but I like it so much <laughs> creep for not creep stroller for the baby uh, creep uh, some more furniture literally everything for the baby this one is gonna be out and now I just got this one we'll test it and look at our nice furniture so cool this ugly pillows will be out this chair old chair will be out it's gonna be so cool here here are the clothes which I bought for me and for our baby girl uh, here are the stuff for the hospital I got different type of clothes because I don't know what I'm gonna wear yes this one with the buttons this one <laughs> looks like pajama but I don't know we'll see and uh, also we got lots of bed sheets for the creep and flowers yesterday Lisa gave it to me and also look at this mobile so cute <laughs> do you know what is that it's a bin for diapers <laughs> and I like the color so cool this one arrived in a previous package this one is very convenient I believe because you're gonna place the baby here and you can put water over her so I assume it's gonna be a very convenient and you see the water will come out here everybody recommended this one more stuff arrived for the baby so this one is to give a bath to our baby girl this one is breastfeeding pillow you can see how it should work Help me somehow. And next, what else do we have here? Uh, nipple water, then changing pads. I don't know if we're gonna need them, but I decided okay, I'm gonna buy it just in case. And what else? And diaper sacks because we bought a uh, ubi. <laughs> I know it's kind of luxury to buy a special bin just for the diapers but uh, we realized that it would be very convenient for us so many people said that it's so convenient because you can lock it here and the baby will not open this lid so yeah yeah I don't know I cannot do it even with one hand so you see it's opened but if I push it, I can't open it. So I have to push it down here and then just push it yeah, like that somehow. But everybody said that it's really a good investment. This bin costs $80 or $70. That's pretty huge investment. Quite often I eat ice cream. I can eat the whole box of ice cream like I just did. <laughs> And uh, I don't know, I came from photo session and I felt a little bit hungry, but uh, we have meat, we have uh, uh, salads, we have everything because I cooked yesterday, but 
I didn't have the desire to eat, but uh, I will be going to my doctor in uh, two hours, so I'll force myself to eat meat because my baby girl needs proteins. But this crazy addiction to dairy, to ice cream, this is pretty strange. I never had it. You know, I could eat ice cream maybe once in half a year or once in a year, but uh, during the pregnancy, I'm eating ice cream every single day. I had two photo sessions. I had uh, one photo session with professional photographer in a studio with all those uh, flying dresses. I really liked it. And uh, I also had a photo shoot today with uh, one of my friends. Uh, she is uh, just in the beginning of her photo career, but uh, we had really good time. And that's why you see me in this pink dress. And uh, I'll add some photos to the video later on because I'm planning to record um, a video how to prepare for maternity photo session. At some point I was thinking that okay I can do it by myself but then I didn't know the techniques how to do that with those flying dresses but of course how to <laughs> prepare myself for the photo shoot I know and uh, I just uh, had really great experience with uh, uh, Kate uh, we had that photo shoot approximately two or three weeks ago, so I'm just waiting uh, when she sends me the photos. She said that she will send me photos maximum by next week, so wait. So I'll record a separate video for you.